Big Boy Big in the neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the Woo! neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. It is going down. Uh, yep. Let me tell you now. Uh, we could have wore a lot of Laker gear in here. Could've. You know what I'm saying? Rob, do you walk in and people over, overdo it with, with Laker stuff on? Well, they, they don't even recognize me until uh, they're like, oh, you're the guy on the bench. Right. So, uh, you know, that's Man, how you should... Let me tell you, you now, uh, and on the real, Jeff said it. He said, you're on the bench so much that we didn't even recognize you when you stood up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 And I was, the, I was like, yeah, we got Robert Sacramento in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, on the real, man, like, I know that you like hard, you like to have fun, man, and just welcome to the neighborhood, man. Thank I appreciate you for it. Appreciate coming it. through and hanging with us, man. No, out. How does it feel to have that, that Laker uniform on oh, now? It's amazing, bro? man. Purple and gold, That's a, yeah. it's a legacy, so you definitely have to embrace it. Mm -hmm. And, and are you embracing it, man? Of course. Uh, every just, minute. I, every I, minute. I got to live through you, bro. Yeah, every minute of it. I got I to I live through you. You know all the are nice you stuff you to get? get? Oh, tell me about it, man. It's crazy how when you didn't have a lot of money or certain when things When you, you're together, broke and you can't afford you. shit, and then yeah. all of a sudden you get you all it? this free stuff. No, take it. Take it. <laughs> take you know what I'm saying? Take it. Like, it's unbelievable. Man. Man. And you know what I do? I take it. Exactly. Exactly. Every time they offer up like, big, man, you ain't got I'm like, all right, man, you sure? You sure? Yeah. No, I don't even say you're sure. I'll, pff, no, all right. Oh, yeah, you go from the first take. He's like, can they, I take two? They yeah. got it from there. Like, hey, as soon as I take, pff, it's like, thank Please, you. Please, thank man, you. So now, being, being just being out here, man, where did you grow up at? I lived in uh, Louisiana, and then I moved to Vancouver, Canada. Oh, really, though? So yeah. so were you born in Canada? I was born in Louisiana. Ah, you yeah. don't say. Yeah. Do, you, do you cook? Uh no, I let my girl cook. What about voodoo? You know any voodoo? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Okay, okay. that whole. Okay. Yeah. Stuff, you like Popeyes? No, that's yeah, just I love Popeyes, yeah. bro. Yeah. I, I do love Popeyes. We do, know. we do all the Louisiana like mints. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Are there crocodiles? Are you from the Bayou? <laughs> 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 no, not by me, by you. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to some sports, Jeff. Please make it official in here, please. Hey, uh, it, how much fun is it for you now to to have Kobe back in the lineup and have that different kind of mentality with with him coming back and kind of re-energizing the team a little bit, man? You know, obviously. Obviously, it's a weapon that we can use and utilize, and we can just come off, and it's Kobe. You know, mm -hmm. you can't really just – everybody, you don't even have to say his last name. It's right. Kobe Bryant, you know, right. so – But you just said his last name. I know. It's Kobe. It's just Kobe. So we, hold on, Rob. Are we saying his last name or not? No, you're not. You're losing us. Yeah. It's Kobe. Okay, okay. Cool. okay. 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 So we don't have to say, like, Mr. Bryant or Kobe No, Bryant. no, no. Nino. It's just Kobe. All right, so Kobe. We know exactly who that yeah. is. All right. Not beef. Right. Not beef. <laughs> right. Just Kobe. Because you know me. Hey, man, <laughs> no, but is it, is it a little different? Because, of course, I, I wasn't expecting Kobe to come back and do 50. Right. You know what I'm saying? But do you think that, like, the teams that we did lose to, the Suns and, and the Raptors, do you think that if, if, we, if Kobe didn't come back at that moment, those are teams we probably could have got through? As opposed to let's adjust our game a little bit right now? I think we're obviously just working with one another and we're trying to figure it all out, mm -hmm. especially because, you know, what Kobe brings to the table is a uh, different dynamic. So yeah. definitely we're just still working off, uh, playing with one another, and he's still he's just trying to figure out who does what. Yeah. We and know what he's capable of. Like, oh, oh. Like, we all know what he can do. So he's trying to figure out how to play with one another and everybody needs to just figure it, each other out. And, you know, we have the preseason to play with one another. Mm -hmm. But he didn't play with us. So that's how that all works out for us. Can I ask you a question? Does he really hurt people's feelings like – like people say he does like in practice and stuff because he talks the most crap out of everybody do people really leave like just dragging like damn man kobe just molded me real bad uh, that is, i want to say it's almost like a prison mentality when it comes to like he's going to test your manhood almost in a way that like he's going to he's going to push you and see where your heart is at you know and, and if you if you come in and you you act like a little punk and you don't you you punk out, then mm. he's not gonna he's not gonna mess with you. Then you gonna be eating your cornbread. All day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah, right. you know, yeah, you know, like this is my damn cornbread. Yeah, yeah. Go you get know? your own cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> you know what so I'm he's definitely testing you and see where your heart's at, and then and then he knows you know if he if he got your back, and so that's how that all works out. And he's gonna test you and definitely push you in practice. Is it intimidating? Um, you know, I now that I've seen it, I definitely know where he, how his mind his right. mindset is. But before, I was like, "Damn, tell him how you really feel," wow. you know. But. That's man, because we is. heard that you was like, man, one day you was at practice, you were like, man, fuck you, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, man, you were like, did, did, did you point at him? Like, how did you say yeah, it, Rob? Did it? you point at him, Robert? Now, like, uh, if you've heard that, now, right. I, I, 
it, it could have happened. Right, I don't. Right, I right, wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't doubt myself. You do seem like you got some gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I wouldn't doubt myself, but um, it didn't happen. I don't think it. Oh, happened. Okay. Okay. I, I'm just. I, I don't know. Because you followed yours up with punches. That's what I heard. No. 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 no, no okay. No, I'm just no, trying to start something. All right. No. no, 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 no. It's all I'm saying. That's not hard. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Big boy neighborhood.